A year, this peaceful town is invaded by thousands of visitors. Part history lesson, part showbiz, it's an explosive extravaganza you won't soon forget. Ah, the heartland of America. Peace, tranquility, and, oh yeah, Armageddon. But don't run for cover. This war is just a small-scale conflict, really small. This World War II battle is fought with models, but they're the biggest plastic imposters ever made. The officer in command of the pounding pyrotechnics is Master Blaster Bob Crawshaw. Well, I've been called Bulldog and I've been called Crazy Bob. Out here, it's mainly been Crazy Bob because people just think that I have to be crazy to do this. No argument here, Bob. This tiny attack is called Striking Back. It's part of the Des Moines Aviation Expo campaign, and Crazy Bob helps orchestrate the annual event. Well, I'm the crazy idiot that has to be in charge of all this. Somebody's got to be out here and put this stuff together. The armory includes a Sherman tank that at first glance would send the troops fleeing in terror, a scaled-down gunboat for the scrimmage, and more fighter planes than an Air Force air raid. When people were going out watching fireworks shows on the 4th of July, I was out shooting them. When you crash one of these things, there's not very much left, usually. That's loot! The crown jewel for these boys and their toys is an exact replica of the B-29. This is the airplane I fly the Enola Gay and the uh, cost is approximately 100000 Did he say $100,000? Approximately 100000 Oh boy, wait till his wife hears about that. This miniature war stirs up some heated wartime strategy. Here we go, here we go, here we go, break it, break it, here we go. This combat crusade is not just a silly skirmish for these soldiers. They claim it has a mission and a message. We want to show and teach what war is all about, how bad it is, and, uh, and that's how kids can learn. I like all the explosions. Huge bombs. My favorite part is the bombs and the jets. Sounds like some kids were sleeping in class. Crazy Bob gives the audience the most bang for their buck, especially with the big finale. I start off with about 20 sticks of dynamite, about 725 feet of 50 grain deck cord, and there's about 400 gallons of fuel that go in it. Put all this firepower together, and you've got the biggest armed combat attack on the continental shore. I worry about danger all the time. And I think that's where the crazy part comes in. I try to respect it like it respects me. So the next time you're in Iowa, you might want to strap on a helmet because you never know when Bob could get the itch to throw the switch. It takes several hundred volunteers to put on a show this size. 